The UN Security Council is expected to meet to discuss the escalating violence and the treatment of Rohingya Muslims in Myanmar. Earlier, I spoke to TRT World's Asia reporter, Shamim Chowdhury. She explains how Myanmar responded to criticism that its security forces have been heavy-handed. The government says that it is specifically targeting militant groups and the one group that it is specifically targeting is the Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army which it brands as a terrorist organization and in fact it's this group that has claimed responsibility for the attack on uh, Friday. Now the Myanmar government says that since Friday 45 more bombs have been set off by this group on Sunday and Monday and a number of villages have been torched. Uh, it says that it can't distinguish between uh, these militants and civilians because they are holding themselves up in residential areas and mosques but the widespread views the widespread com uh, comments among the uh, Rohingya people who have been able to speak is that they uh, the government itself isn't making any kind of the security forces aren't making any kind of effort to at least try to distinguish between these groups uh, Myanmar says that the, this group is making a calculated attempt to undermine any kind of peace effort that they may try to come to because it is uh, carrying out some very severe attacks. Although when we look at the past, I mean, this discrimination against the Rohingya has been going on for decades and there was hope of change with the new government of Aung San Suu Kyi, but it really didn't happen, did it? No, it didn't. And because of that, because of her silence, her perceived silence, she has actually received international condemnation. Now, she is saying that uh, unless this, these militant groups are targeted, then there is no way forward. However, she hasn't allowed uh, a UN investiga investigative team uh, into Rakhine province to carry out independent observations. She's rejected... Uh, uh, accusations by the UN that most likely crimes against humanity have been created uh, have been caused by her security forces there is a widespread belief that she, belief that she is actually being quite pragmatic on the whole issue she has to in order to ensure that she remains in power because although she is now the uh, the the uh, leader of Myanmar the army which was in control for many many years holds a lot of clout it holds a lot of power and it's perceived that she fears that if uh, they are unhappy with her coming out with comments that are too forthright then she may be removed and it will just set the whole democratic process back so that is the kind of the reason that's given behind why she's being a little bit aloof on the subject of the Rohingyas